Hello you guys. So today I am super excited. I want to share um with you my uh three year olds binder. Actually I did this binders. In fact I did two binders for the six year old and the three year old. So this one is for the three year old. Oh wow I'm really really happy I did this and I like this this channel actually it pushes me to be such a better teacher for my children which is the best thing so wow okay so yes now this is actually a binder we call it like a yellow binder so this is a key i hope you can see that so he colored in the key and then uh that's his favorite verse call unto me and i will answer you so he has to first sing the song because this key actually uh, has a song attached to it he knows it so he has to sing the song and then recite his favorite verse and then he can pray and then it turns um the binder and then yeah then this side he counts from numbers one through 50 it's just really just uh fluffy fluffy chicks that he has to count from numbers one through 50 in fact he's still three he can only count properly from numbers one through 20 but then he can figure it out and you know play around uh, if i'm there then i can help him then this side it's just weather pictures uh you know he's speaks closer so stuff like this helps him to actually uh, speak uh more english so i like having this binder it comes in very handy he has memorized uh the days of the week and the months of the year but then i mean it's it's no harm for him to go through this again and actually now uh see them uh written down you know have to just go through them one by one uh then this side he is uh, learning to write his name so this is good practice for him so he just has to trace his name over there and then uh this side he can actually use a pen uh like this or Okay, I can't see what I'm doing there. All right, so, or he can use this. Just about anything, you guys. Or anything, or even pom-poms, you know. These could be even good for uh, uh, his fine motor skills. I mean, he's just three, so anything goes. So this side is actually the number one and how it's written and then he has to uh, trace there and then he can uh, learn how to write there then this side uh, down there he has to uh, put a number that uh, uh, stuff that will represent the number uh, that he has up there if it's number one or it's number two then if it's number two then it will have to be two of these so we have one through ten because these are just one to 10 so this side i can change the numbers around uh, then he has to uh, circle the number that's there if it's number two that we're talking about then you will circle the twos and so forth and so on okay so this side he's interested in maps i don't um flags he loves flags and he loves uh knowing about flags so i thought okay this could be just something for him i don't have like material then i make some of my material for instance this i made it myself so uh, okay this one i got it from somewhere and that one i'd print okay fine so what happens is he then has to just uh remember uh the flags we this is south africa and so forth and we must uh, be able to find it on the globe type of thing there all right so okay this i forgot to clean out but then he actually just has to trace these shapes there and this side he has to make the tr uh, the, the, the the shapes using the sticks or any apparatus but then 
You know, like I've spoken about problem solving, that we should make sure that we expose our children to problem solving. You don't literally tell your child just about each and everything. So they must be able to figure it out that, okay, fine. If I have, uh, if I put the stick and then I put the other one, then it's no longer this triangle that I'm trying to make. It's another triangle altogether. Then what can you do to make sure that you... Uh, have or oh, you 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 solve this problem of this little piece that's there left. Then the child must tell you that they will use this small one, and then do the same this side, and so forth and so on. You don't just tell them that okay, so Nana, this side it will not fit. Then you must use this one. No, they must figure it out themselves. And then tell you what then do you do when that's the case. So we have like shapes here. You can actually use this pen or uh, tell you if this side they can use these and like this. Then can you use them this side? Uh, little punchu punchu. And then if they say no, then can I use those ones? Then they say, no, mommy. And then what then can you use? Because you want to use something. Then they will tell you that, okay, fine. We can probably just use uh, pom-poms or fluffy balls or whatever you call it. So your child must be able to come up with those solutions themselves. So, and then they can even do something like this, you know, try and do it with a pointing finger or something like that. And then this side, it's just colors really blue, pink, purple, brown, and so forth and so on. So this side, so you can do this in so many ways. For instance, just a few ways that you can do this. You can actually, uh, it's numbers one through five, Yes, and then your child is supposed to now not only recognize the number, but they must know how many does uh, one have uh, the stuff that will represent the number one. Uh, how many will I have uh, of the stuff that will re represent the number two? So then it, you could just have them put pom-poms like this and so forth and so on. Or you can tell them that I want... Uh, triangles then your child will come and make one triangle two three four two five and this side they make up to five or you can just uh, but you must perhaps just have something uh, written here so that they remember that I'm supposed to make circles or I'm supposed to make triangles or rectangles whatever it is that you want to see or yes then they can that you can be able to rub out. All right. So this side, this is something that I already had that I thought, okay, I can just use this. I mean, this is his first binder and anything goes really as much as long as I mean, they, they, they getting stimulated, they, 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 they learning uh, something, you know, so this is just colors. You know, and he doesn't speak English, you know, so he's learning to speak English. So I put him in those situations where he will find himself uh, saying uh, English things. Like he can say, this is a red rectangle, green rectangle, purple triangle, brown square, uh, orange uh, circle, and then, and so forth and so on. So this side... Uh, he's counting, but uh, rather in a different way because he's not just going to go one, two, three, four, blah, 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 but then he is going to be counting actual stuff like one, two giraffes, one, two, three fish, one, two, three, four kites, and so forth and so on. So that is very good for children. Like I'm sure by now you know, I am very strong on exposing my kids to as much as many numbers as possible. Okay, so because I mean he's learning to write, so this is very good exercise for him. So he will just trace these lines here. And then, yeah, that's like a very good exercise. So this one here is not really, 
you know, stimulative any uh, stimulative anymore for him because he knows this. Uh, but then there's something that I want to teach him because, like, when he does this, he doesn't think first and come up with a solution. He just work and come up with a solution as he goes because he just goes like, oops, this is not the one. Which one is it? And then he goes all the way there. But I want him to know that, okay, fine. This is the problem. I need to get the one that looks like this one. Okay, so this one. Oh, so this is it. Then they must know from here, I go straight there. Not be fumbling, going all over the place, which is something that he does. So, yeah. So I'll be just, until he gets it the way I want him. I want something uh, neat, like... The person who really sat and thought this through like this. Not him going, oh, 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 this is the wrong one. Oh, not even this one. Oh, yeah, this one. Then you will see all of those there and you even get lost as to like how did he go about getting to where he was supposed to go. So, yes. So, this side, we're still doing just primary colors so we've done a lesson on, on on colors so i just want for him to know the primary colors and then we do secondary colors and tertiary colors and so forth and so on so and when we're doing art then we can be able to mix and he must know what we're talking about and then there he can really just draw his own uh rainbow there so yeah this is a binder you guys just easy simple straightforward nothing complicated you know you can actually do just about whatever that you have put just about whatever that you have in your house i mean we are indoors now so you probably like you know don't have as much material but look at what i did i made stuff from scratch this a here I did it myself. All of these things, I did it myself. These flags, I I actually did them myself. So you can actually even do something like that. These, I didn't buy these things. So you don't need to buy anything for this kind of binder. But believe me, you need your child to have something like this. Because sometimes, you guys, we are so busy. We are just not able to do uh, justice in terms of, 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 of giving them their lessons, you know. So you can just, na na, take your binder. And they would have learned something. All right, you guys. Um, I hope you share the excitement as well. Okay, and then next time I will share the one for the six-year-old. All right, you guys. Bye.